Hey everyone, how's it going? Coming at you from the home studio today and I'm a little bit sick as you might be able to hear. Got a bit of a head cold, um, nothing major. And I just wanted to do this video on the EOS R footage, the Canon C-Log footage uh, versus the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. I was actually on a shoot recently and I was able to capture the same kind of shot between the two different cameras. And I just want to show you the differences between the two, what I think's better and what I think can work for these types of shoots in particular, where there's kind of a high dynamic range between the lows and the highs in a certain scene. So if you have a look here, I've got the black magic footage. Um, basically this is it here. And you can see that it's looking pretty good, correctly exposed and everything. There's some big windows in this bathroom scene here. And so, you know, they are coming into play is quite a high um, amount of light coming in from those. So if we pull up uh, in a color palette here, we pull up the waveform, um, we basically can see that, we'll go to the waveform. We can see that these elements of the windows are actually quite heavily exposed and they're almost tipping the top of our waveform here. In our, Can uh, in our black magic footage. If we jump to the Canon footage here, you can see this is shot in Canon log. And it's interesting because right here you see for the black magic footage, there's quite a lot of exposure range here. Whereas if we jump across to the EOS R footage, the Canon C log footage, it's actually the range is compressed. So from here we go from 128 minimum and maybe up to uh, 1023 at the max. And in the C-Log footage, we go from 128 minimum, so same exposure level, pretty much exactly the same blacks exposure level, but we only are coming up when the blue channel here to like 8, 896 maybe. There's a little bit of bleed across the top here, but mostly we're under this 896 position here. So let's jump on to grade these pieces of footage and see what we can come up with. Um, and see which is better. Now, one thing is um, different here is that the C-Log footage obviously was shot on the Canon EOS R, which is not a uh, micro four thirds or um, super 35, sorry, sensor. It's a full frame sensor. So it's the same lens on both cameras, but you get more range. And that's one of the reasons I shot it on the EOS R is because I wanted to get capture in all of that range that we needed for this shot. So what I might do just to, just to make it um, easier on the eye is I might just increase uh, my scale for this footage so that it kind of matches up with the other footage. So just got to drop this down a little bit just so it kind of matches up to the other footage. So now we've got a very similar shot for both cameras. All right, so let's grade this up and see how we do. And what I do is I use curves here. So basically I'm gonna grab the curve, bring up the shadows a little bit. So it's a little bit, look, makes it feel a little bit brighter in the bathroom and bring up the highlights as well a bit without crushing them down too much. So I'll probably put a node there and bring it up there and then also bring it up there. So just to brighten it up a little bit all over and then I'll come to the saturation curve and I'll add in a bunch of saturation as well. So then the original compared to the graded clip there's not really a lot of colour in this clip but that's kind of my graded clip there. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna jump across to the log clip and I'll make this my exposure node. Just gonna come into here and just adjust my exposure. Give me some of the shadows.
So I've worked on them to kind of match up the shots. One's still got a bit, bit of a blue tinge in the shadows. Um, the black magic footage is looking better in terms of from a color perspective, much, much better. You notice things like on the sea log footage, there's a lot of blockiness in the darks here and just, yeah, lost detail that you don't kind of have in the um, black magic footage. Like if I were to zoom in on this at 100%, um, you've got quite a good, um, do that, this one. you've got quite a good detail on the black magic footage. Um, whereas if we jump across to the EOS R footage, C log, you've got a lot of blockiness here in this grade. So to get the grades to match, it's almost like the Canon footage is falling apart compared to the BMP CC footage. So whilst you can get a similar result, um, you know, in terms of the actual image, like at that size, because you know, not you, you wouldn't really be able to see it at this size in a, in an edit. Um, the black magic footage just really blows the EOS R C log footage out of the water. So even though it's got the similar dynamic range, maybe 13 or so stops, 12 or 13 stops, you're still getting so much better, um, yeah, footage out of the black magic pocket cinema camera. And as fortunate. As unfortunate as that is, this kind of scene with this high contrast um, and, and high dynamic range just doesn't really suit the EOS R uh, C log all that well. So if you look at as well, uh, this area here of the image um, where you've got this detail here, you're kind of losing detail in that area. So yeah, in order to get the EOS R footage where it needs to be um, to kind of match up with the quality and the color rendition of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema footage, you really just need to push the Canon footage beyond what it's capable of. And we're not looking at sharpness here because I've zoomed in, but in terms of the blockiness, um, you know, of the detail and everything compared to the retention of the detail in the shadows of the um, black magic footage. There's no comparison. The black ma magic footage is just so much better, so much more gradable. Um, it handles the dynamic range better. It kind of, this color rendition here is so much better. Um, the windows have kind of retained their detail, whereas the ESR has lost its detail in the windows. So yeah, hope that helps you guys to see why we're using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera uh, over the EOS R on some of these shoots. And while we'll probably keep using it for these types of shoots as well, where there's dynamic range changes like this and differences, it just gives us that ability to have a wider reach and capture more of the detail. And then also when we grade that up, it manages to um, yeah, handle the color grade a lot better as well. So thanks so much for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.